John, we're in Great Falls, Montana. Uh -huh. You're out on the streets homeless. Tell me about it. Um, I have some mental issues that I've, I've been to treatment a few times and they've opened up doors that they never told me what to do with the stuff that comes out afterwards. And, uh, um, I have uh, panic attacks, PTSD, and um, multiple personality. I don't, it's not a multiple personality disorder, but it comes from being um, beat up as a child. I have several different, um, several different um, alternates, I call them. And, uh, what do you mean alternates, like foster care? No, um, like when I was getting, when I was growing up, I'd get beaten up. I developed a different personality. Oh, a persona that, to get that you, would, yeah. That would take the beatings. <laughs> oh my God. And so on. Um, I have three of them and they've always been behind glass. And um, uh, here recently or within the last four months or so, I started having really bad panic attacks and it brought these alternates out to the surface instead of behind the glass where they were. Yeah. And um, so I haven't been able to maintain a job because the second I start panicking, I start uh, having these severe arguments with myself. Right. And um, Well, you're obviously it, high functioning though. It's, yeah, it's really embarrassing and it's... Uh, um, now you're it saying like, you got abused as a kid. Yeah. Um, my mom tried to drown me when I was before I was five, and so my grandparents um, took me, and uh, my granddad beat me up until I was 14 and decided to leave. And um, oh my gosh, I'm pretty so much sorry. been living on my own since then, working, um, been through the system a bunch of times. Um, you know the law or whatever, the court systems, whatever. Right. Um, um, been to a, multiple treatments for drugs because that, you know, the self-medicated, whatever. Yeah. Um, never really had. Well, people abuse drugs to cope yeah. with pain. And, oh my gosh, you and, obviously uh, went through a lot. And, and now all this stuff has come up to a surface and it's, um, you, it's, I don't know, you ask for help and, and all they want to do is just call the cops on you and, you know, and I don't want to go back to jail or any of that stuff anymore, so it's... Where'd you sleep last night? Um, last night I slept at the dog park, which is on... Well, you don't have to, I don't, don't tell me the exact location, outside yeah. in a dog park. Yeah. And oh my gosh. It's a... But you're saying it, it was down to the 40s last night. Yeah. Yeah, I've uh, since I've been homeless this time I've frostbit my hands like three times. Finally got the feeling back in my fingertips. I thought I was gonna lose my fingers. Oh my gosh. And uh and now I'm just I just I walk. <laughs> I walk everywhere. I don't ever stop walking. Yeah. So, <laughs> some people call me Forrest Gump because he walk, you know. Yeah. And that's what I do. And what's homelessness like here in Great Falls? Um I don't know. I think personally, I think it's hard because we have a rescue mission that won't let anybody come in. So it's like I don't know what I don't know what their function is or how. You know what I mean? I've been there like four times just to even warm up, and they won't let me in the door. So um, you could just kind of have to depend on the other people that There's are. There's some good rescue other... missions, but many of them have really funky rules. Yeah, and. Uh, yeah, it's it's tough here in Great Falls. I mean, you can eat if you know the places. You know, like I was on my way to the uh, Salvation Army to get a couple loaves of bread, and you know. Yeah. And, uh, What's your future like? Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> don't know. Now, when do you lived time? out here all winter? Pretty much. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's got to have been cold up here. Yeah, really my cold. My heart breaks. It was, uh, 
when I frostbit my hands, it was 16 below at one o'clock in the afternoon. So, oh, it was, wow, it was pretty cold. If you had three wishes, what would they be? Um, Okay, John. Are you sure? Anyway. Well, thank you very much for talking to me. And thank you for listening. Well, you were talking earlier about how invisible. You feel invisible, obviously. Pretty much. Uh, it's, it is, that's why I say I appreciate the word on your invisible because now you're not invisible. Most of the time it's just try to try to stay positive and you know tell everybody you know, tell everybody hi and you know whatever and Trust and believe in karma and, you know? Well, I, I can tell you're a good person right from when we started to talk and by your backpack. O only somebody really cool would have a backpack <laughs> like that, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let, let me show you, let's show everybody your backpack. Yeah. See, now that's a rocking backpack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you found it out of the dumpster, you said. Yeah. Uh, it's getting a little that. noisy, man. Here, I'm going to turn this off and we'll talk for a bit, man. We'll walk with you.